guys, in today's review, we're going to be reviewing Maybelline's Brow Extension Brow Pencil. This recently launched. It is $8.99. I got the shade Medium Brown, and I'm really excited to try this out because on the website, it talks about how it's supposed to give us a natural finish. It's supposed to have fiber-like hairs in the formula. It's also a pomade formula as well, and it's supposed to be a thick pencil. So I'm really curious, you know, with all of that, how easy is it going to be able to use? Is it going to really actually look natural? And, you know, how thick is this pencil? So I'm really excited to try this out with you guys and give you guys my honest review. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and let's go ahead and dry in our brows. So before we dry in our brows, you guys, I want to give you a quick swatch so you can see how it looks on. I swatched it a few times in the back of my hand so you guys can get a really good idea of how the shade looks. I don't think you'll see it on camera, but there is like little fiber hairs on the back of my hand. And it definitely looks like little brow hairs on there. So it's going to be really interesting um, when using this. Also, you guys, this is a pretty thick brow pencil. Um, and also has a rounded tip to it. So I feel like it might be a little bit challenging for me to use when doing my brows because I'm not used to using a pencil that is this thick. Um, and that it has like doesn't really have like a point point to it. So we'll see, you know, I usually feel like with anything new that you're you're playing with, it's gonna take a little bit of practice to get used to. So, you know, practice makes perfect. I think that's what they say. So you guys in the next clip, I'm gonna go ahead and dry my brows. today's product. As for the packaging, you guys, I do like the packaging. I feel like it's really simple and to the point, which is fine. I don't need the packaging to be fancy. What I care more about is what's inside. <laughs> and But I do will say that I do like that it matches the color that you are receiving inside as well. So that is a big plus. I will say that there is also a great undertone to this brow shade, which I'm not a fan of. That's a big thing for me. I feel like drugstore, con drugstore concealers, drugstore brow pencils tend to have a great undertone to them and I don't like that so not a fan of this one as for the pigmentation I definitely feel like it is definitely pigmented um, and it did glide on really nicely I will say that this formula is a pretty creamy in a sense I mean it is a pomade but it is a little too creamy for my liking just because I found that when I was drying in my brows chunks of the pomade or the brow pencil was falling off um, and also, it is pretty messy, as you can see to the side, chunks of the pomade is kind of falling over, and the fiber hairs are kind of clunking up, and it just looks like a brow pencil that has expired, that maybe, you know, fell on the back of my couch and accumulated lint. I don't know, I'm not a big fan of it. I feel like the, like, hair fibers, I wish they were longer, and thicker, so they can actually look like our natural hair you know, not your hair, brow hairs. <laughs> As for when I was using this, I found it tricky, especially to use drawing in the tail end of my brow. Does it give a natural finish? I will say yes, it does because you're not, it's not a thin pencil or a thin point to it that you're kind of doing like, you know, lines. It's kind of just really just coloring it in very lightly. I don't know how to describe it. It's just, it's really hard to draw them in when you have a, such a thick pencil. It just kind of blends everything out. I don't know how to describe it. It's just really thick. It's really creamy and I just feel like you can't really draw anything and it's just drawing a thick chunky line. <laughs> a line that it's kind of gray and it's kind of pigmented but at the same time it's a little weird. Um, this pomade also feel like when I was drying in my brows it's pressed my brows down almost like I glued them on my skin and it doesn't feel like crunchy like a, a brow gel but it's just like like pressed on there and I don't like that. I don't need it to do that. <laughs> I just need to color them in. Um, so it doesn't give that fluffy full effect if they're, if the pomade is, if the formula of the pomade is so 
like such an adhesive it's gonna press all of our hairs down I don't want that so I find it really tricky to describe this I hope you guys are getting what I'm talking about but here are the swatches of all the fiber hairs and how it's looking on there maybe this is a better idea for you to see it in the back of my hand but to be really to be really honest I am NOT a fan of this I don't see myself using this again and yeah you guys this is my honest review I can't believe it <laughs> kind of bummed out I really do like Maybelline products but this one just did and do it for me today and so i hope you guys enjoyed today's review everything will be linked down below and as always you guys don't forget to like share subscribe if you have any questions comment down below i'll answer them to the best that i can and as always you guys i will see you on my next video i love you guys bye